Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today I'm going to show you how to install a processor into the Dell R710 server. Before beginning, we recommend checking with the manufacturer and ensuring the latest firmware is installed. For this installation, you will not need any tools. Please check out the quick spec link in the description below to learn more about processor compatibility for the Dell R710. First, ensure the server is properly powered down and that the power cord is unplugged. Next, press and hold the power button until the light is completely shut off to ensure there is no residual power remaining on the motherboard. Please make sure to check with the system manual and comply with any recommended safety instructions. To open the system, lift the top latch and pull the panel back and up to remove it. Also remove the black cooling shroud. You now have access to the heat sinks, which you must remove to install the processors. Remove CPU-1's heat sink by depressing the blue tabs and lifting the two handles up. They do have tension, so using a firm grip is advised. Once the handles are lifted, you may remove the heat sink and set it aside. Using paper towel and rubbing alcohol, remove any thermal paste from the heat sink. Next, remove any installed processor by carefully pulling back on the one retention pin, lifting it, and then lifting the processor cover, and only touching the sides of the processor, lifting the processor itself out. Clean the processor with the same method as the heatsink. To install the replacement processor, take notice of the directional marking on the processor, and ensure it aligns with the corresponding mark on the motherboard. Gently place the processor inside the socket and ensure a snug fit. Close the processor cover and replace the retention pins to lock the processor in place. Now apply a small pea-sized amount of thermal paste to the center of the processor. It will spread out once you place the heatsink on top. Secure the heatsink on top of the processor by replacing the retaining pins and the processor is now completely installed. Installing a processor into the second slot is done in the exact same manner as the first. Remove the heatsink and then the processor, clean them both, install the new processor into the socket, and replace the heatsink. Now replace the cooling shroud and slide the outer panel back into place, and secure it by replacing the latch. Please check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and other component installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.